people usually say, well, that's freaky, and this is freaky, and you're freaky, but they don't realize that their own lives are totally freaky, and they're freaky. The issue of what's normal, what's abnormal, what's sane, what's not sane is part of my aesthetic. I was um, inspired by the concept of the decisive moment by Cartier-Bresson, by the formalism of Paul Strand, by the humor of Elliot Erwitt. I found the country quite interesting. It was like being in a frontier. Even though there was an apartheid regime, the country had sort of a very strange, provocative dynamic that sort of attracted me. It doesn't mean that if you find somebody that looks interesting or if it feels interesting that they're a good model. Just because the people here look a bit strange, enigmatic, it doesn't mean they are strange and enigmatic. What you see is a transformed reality. The places that I work with over the last three decades in South Africa are places of art proof. People I work with are outsiders. They come from their unconscious mind. They're not seeing themselves as artists producing art for an art market. Using models is a way of getting away from making statements that can be seen as political, social, cultural. They go beyond the, the moment. Well, when you look at a mannequin, you don't say, is the mannequin sane or not sane? The concept of absurdity pervades the work. A human being, human life is fundamentally absurd. wrote me a letter and they said when they saw one of my books they gave up everything they were doing for at least a year and reinvented themselves. They were able to incorporate my aesthetic into their music and their performance. They introduced my work to a lot of young people. Each project that I did after Freaky comes with a video, so I realized the power of, of the video.